Hello intermediate fiddlers. We're focusing on danceability today for day eight. So with the highlight, sorry, I'm getting my tunes mixed up. With the hundred pipers, we have two really neat rhythms that are working together at the same time. We have, we're playing in a jig rhythm because it's six, eight timing, but it's also the, the hundred pipers is a march. So that we get a very solid one, two, one, two rhythm out of it because of um, the way the march sits. Da da dum, ba da 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 dum, da 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 exactly how I'm showing that beat so it's giving you a bit of a delay but you're counting in one and two and one and two we are hundred pipers a oh, wah a oh, wah a oh, hundred pipers a oh, wah we up and be em a blow a oh, blow a oh, hundred pipers a oh, wah so you can think of it as stepping on your left foot marching on your right foot left right left right left right left right which is the more straightforward um, way to, to approach this tune. The other way you can approach it, which I love because it provides a foundation for future jigs, and a jig again is 6-8 timing, so we're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or my favorite, jiggity, 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 jiggity. So what you could do, instead of stomping left, right, left, right, you can't see me stomping my feet right now, Two. That's the march approach. If we take the jig approach, I want you to play this. I want you to play a rhythmic A. Jiggity, 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 jiggity. We are hundred pipers a wah, a wah, a hundred pipers a wah. We up and we a blow, a blow, a hundred pipers a wah. two different ways you can approach it. You can really put on the marching cap and think one, two, one, two, because that really helps drive your bow. Your down bow, down beat will be the heavy beat. A, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, A, A, one, E, two, two, one, E, two, one, one, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. So that's where your beat would lie. Or you can think of it as jiggity, 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 jig, and it's a little bit more fluent. Fluid, not fluent. So what I would do is, if you've been playing a few years, not that long, then I would I would take the march approach one two one two. If you're you've been playing for a while and you go ah, the march approach is a little easy for me, really focus on the jig. So you're literally thinking accent on the first beat and accent on the fourth beat. That's what my recommendation would be for your danceability. How is that danceable? With the jig, we tend to dance one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. And one, two, three. So by placing a heavy bow on those downbeats, on the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, down and up and down and up, it makes for it makes it really obvious for the dancer where that beat lies and where it is we would actually land our heavy foot when we're dancing. So if you have any questions, I'm not sure how clear I was in that approach. Again, you have two ways of approaching the hundred pipers, counting it as a march, one, two, one, two, or the jiggity, jiggity, six, eight timing, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the last thing that you really want to think about 
with the 100 Pipers is what is your right hand doing? Because the danceability is entirely coming from the right hand. So how relaxed is it? If you're focusing so hard on the beat that your hand's tensing up, it's going to make the jiggity tone stiff. And now, uh, if I was dancing to that, I would look a lot like the Tin Soldier. I would not be able to dance in a fun, loose sort of way. If you can relax the right hand and your bow hold so that you're nice and soft, it will be easier to emphasize the beats that you're focusing on because your bow then is responding to where you feel the beat is. So I would love to hear from you. Uh, we've had some great response on the Facebook page. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable on Facebook, that's just fine. Send me a note at modelfiddler at gmail.com. And we'd love to really create this community of fiddlers that are all working together that want to improve their practice um, and let each other know that we're out there all working to not only promote fiddle and keep the tradition alive, but to actually um, work on our own performance as well and I think it's so neat to know that there's a community doing that in common. We're not on our own. All right, have a great day.